Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Auditing Auditors. Today, we're looking at an auditor that's only been around for about a year, but he's already grown over 50,000 subscribers, and that is DJE Media, or Media DJE, whichever way it's supposed to be. Um, and he, he's basically an auditor, but that's not how he started. And I would say that he's one of the, these kind of gray area auditors that you could call an auditor, but they're more like a journalist or a vlogger, to be perfectly honest. And the reason I say that is because if you go back to his oldest video, you can see that a year ago, he started by posting about Nicola Bully, the lady who went missing in Lancashire. And I actually remember, because I, I made a video at the time about this, and it was big. The views that you get on videos about Nicola Bully were huge because so many people were interested in the story. It went around the world. So I could understand why he made quite a few videos about it. And you can see there's quite a few here. But then it takes a little turn. And DJE Media, or as he was going by then, Curtis Media, was actually arrested by Lancashire Police for po posting a video about about the whole situation with Nicola Bully. So let me just show you this video. Hi everybody, welcome to the video. Um, this video is to explain what happened two days ago. I'm sure a lot of you have heard or read in the news. One thing I'd like to say at the beginning of the video so that people understand is I cannot talk about her case. I cannot talk about that area or the family. I have bail conditions that I cannot do that. I cannot make videos on the case and I cannot publicly talk about it. So he was arrested for making a video for doing citizen journalism. And, and that then started him off on his auditing journey. And Curtis Media, as he was known at the time, was, was putting out videos. And in this arrest, he was asleep in his nan and granddad's house and they came and basically tried to kick down the door, woke up his elderly grandparents and disrupted them for a while. It's quite sad. What Lancashire. So I spoke to my granddad tonight and he seemed quite upset, which is unlike him. He doesn't show his feelings. He just stays quiet all the time. He, he, he never talks basically. So I thought it was strange. So I spoke, I spoke to him for a little bit for about half an hour and he told me in detail how the police searched the house that night when I was arrested. I know we've been through that before, but I wasn't aware of the stuff he told me. So I thought I'm going to add that to the complaint. I'm going to make a separate complaint on that. And it just highlights how disgusting the treatment was of those officers that night when it's not my grand and granddad's fault. Um, and this whole thing is, is, is ridiculous anyway, but it's not their fault. They should not, you know, once I was out the house and I was arrested and I was at the station, it should not, like, they should not have been treated that way that they have been, that I found out tonight, okay? So these six officers have no right to do what they did. My nan, according to my granddad, my nan, literally, she can't remember anything at the moment. She's, she's lost her mind. Like, he, he'll say to her one thing and she'll be like, what are you talking about? And he's literally just spoke to her about it, you know? And that's what she's like when she's stressed. That is terrible. And my granddad, for, for my granddad to tell me this tonight, for him to do that, I, I, I took him serious. And for him, that, that's upset him. Um, and he's probably taken till now to, to come out with it. This is what I wanted to talk about. So clearly he had this kind of traumatic experience uh, with the police and his interaction with them just for making a simple video about Nicola Bully. After this point, he then started posting videos of him doing audits as Curtis Media and he then carried this on for a while did some great work and the the thing that I found interesting about DJ Media is that he had a specific focus on the migrant hotels and he's visited quite a lot of the, lot of those different places so we'll have a look at some of those videos in a minute but he's also done other vlogs as well where he's done a paranormal ghost hunt and exploring videos and things like that going to abandoned villages so he has spread out his content quite a lot in in the last year and so i have saved a few things that i wanted to just show you here in my face oh what oh, what are you doing here now i'm in public land yes stay here you're quite happy to be here get okay. back to work you don't tell me what to do i do no you don't you'll be walking back to work in a minute one, two, three, four, okay. five idiots. <laughs> five idiots. Am I recording you? Don't be so rude, mate. 
I said don't record me. I'm going to record you now. Don't record me. I'm recording you right now. I said don't record me. Don't record You're me. You're going to assault me? Actually, your camera in my video, Okay. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> what <are> you doing? <laughs> Don't touch me, mate. He tried to take his camera. Let me play that again, because you can see him go to, to grab his camera, but luckily, DJE is very fast. <laughs> <laughs> what <are> you doing? <laughs> Actually, your camera in my Okay. Hello? <laughs> what <are> you doing? <laughs> Don't touch me, mate. That's such a creepy way to do it as well, while laughing. And, oh, <laughs> I'm going to steal your phone. Please say there. I don't need permission. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to... What did you do that for, mate? I don't know. Why, why are you in my hotel? So, room so you just took this out of my pocket, did you? Yeah. I, will, I don't know why you're here to help right. people. Right. So he goes to these hotels. And he and they're always quite aggressive to him and, and and quite forceful about getting him away. And some people even get quite handsy. They grab him and drag him away from the car park or wherever he is. Uh, but as you saw there, someone actually took something out of his pocket and uh, tried to steal it from him. So he, he does put himself in harm's way quite a lot. And what's quite interesting about this channel is the name dje because obviously dj audits is one of the biggest youtube auditors in the country so the fact that he's called himself dje media was interesting to me when i when i saw him for the first time because it kind of confused me a little bit as to why he did this and then finding out that his channel was originally called curtis media to move to dje media that raised my questions and I was wondering, how does DJ feel about it? But DJ has actually done some videos with DJE. So I'm guessing that they're, they're good friends and they're doing, doing work together. But it is very interesting because I did find the video where he last used the, the name CM, which is Curtis Media. It's an audit, right? I didn't give a name. Call me CM, call me, call me CM. Call me, call me CM. There you go. So he says, call me CM, call me CM. And that was, I believe, in September of last year, September the 3rd. So it was around this time that my investigation has pinpointed when DJE became DJE from Curtis Media. And if you look at this picture here, you can see DJE Media as it was on September the 9th, 2023, which was the first time this page was scrubbed which means it was recorded on the web archive. So it might have been created before this, but this is the first time it appears on this platform. But let me know if, you, if anyone knows when DJE Media did change his name. But So as I said, he does a lot of stuff around migrant hotels. And here's one of the videos that he did, which is quite close to where I grew up in Beaudley in Worcestershire. And here, I thought we'd just play a little bit of this video and show you kind of things that he sees when he goes to these places. Yes, then the people, we're just at Mercure Hotel in Bewdley near Kidderminster. That is mad. I actually went to uh, college in Kidderminster, so I know the Mercure quite well. I've driven past it a few times. So basically, DJE takes a, a little stroll around this, this area and kind of shows us the back of the Mercure and he gets to... He has to see places that he might not have got to see if he went in the front way because he would have been told that you're not allowed to be here. Uh, so by walking in this way, which is looks like a dog walker's path to me, but he, he was within his rights to go through this way anyway. He makes his way up to the hotel. He sees the, the gym area as well. And then he goes around to the hotel and sees all their bikes. Then he makes his way to the front of the building where he meets a lot of different security folks. And that's where I'm going to show you now. Uh, because what is interesting about this video is that they do actually watch audit videos in these okay, hotels. That's all. No, this is... Ah, not this way. No, wrong way. How is how is the private? This is the private. Yeah. Sorry. How is the private? This one. Please, please. I need to talk to these guys. Please, please. Cool. Hello. All right. Don't be snatching the camera. All right. I'm just I'm just warning you because yeah, it, it happens man. That's fine. Uh, it happens sometimes. 
Um, it does happen, and as we showed, it has happened to him a few times. People have got aggressive, people have tried to snatch his camera, snatch his equipment. So the fact that this guy is still continuing on, like I think fair play to him, he's obviously he's definitely a more brave man than me to be able to do this and to walk into these sites knowing that there are potentially dangerous people on there. And I'll show you one particular guy that um, may, may prove that point more than anyone. No, the main entrance, my friend, where is it? <laughs> Don't worry about that. Where's the main entrance? <laughs> Who are you? Do you work for security or? I work here, I work here. So could you please leave site? Um, I can't leave yet. Why not? Uh, I'm doing a video on the hotel, so I want to get a little bit more footage first. I'm afraid but, um... that... Hello, mate, we'll right. escort you out if anything else. What do you mean, escort me out? You're not meant to be here, it's private property. Yeah, I understand. And that, you mate. know that, and you know... It's private property, but there's a public footpath down there which led straight in, weirdly. Yeah. If you don't want to come over there, I'll stay. I'll stay. All right. Even even till tomorrow, no problem. Come on. I'm Wait, I can stay here till tomorrow. No, you wouldn't want to. You wouldn't want to. So can you please let's go, yeah? I'd rather not. I don't want that one, but what we'd rather want is that you stay. I'm. I won't touch you. Don't worry. Okay, and I'm just off, man. Don't worry, don't worry. Because I've seen your videos before. You see my videos. You are a respectful guy. I appreciate it. You see my videos. Yeah. Have you? I have. Go on. What do I do? DJ Media. What? What do? Well, okay. How did you? Wait, have I met you before? No. I haven't met you before? No. But you See, he was quite surprised there. And I, I think I know why. Because I think he was expecting this guy to say another auditor's name. Maybe audited in Britain. Maybe DJ Audits. But this guy actually specifically said DJE Media. Which means they know about him. And they know that this guy is going around to these places and filming them. And asking them questions about how many people are there. And how long have they been there. How long will they continue to be there. And he's asking the difficult questions that they don't want to answer. And DJ Media is one of the few auditors that will actually put his face out there as well. So they are able to recognise him better than the other ones. He also put out this video which is very useful for, for people that are wondering. Just the scale of the problem when it comes to these migrant hotels and so he put this video out and it basically details most of the migrant hotels there's a few that are, aren't on this list and obviously there might be some more since this premiered in november but it, it just shows how many of these hotels there are and again another fantastic video from dj media so make sure you go over there and follow him after you've watched this video so guys that there is the uk the markers on there they represent asylum seeker hotels okay so he basically um, takes you through we... all the different places in the country and where the where the hotels are where he's done videos on already and where he's planning on going in the future and i think this is a very useful uh, map so if um if anyone knows where i can get access to this app leave it in the comments below because it'd be it'd be an interesting thing to add to my mapping auditors project to just put this into perspective of how much abuse DJ gets when he's visiting these hotels, just take a look at this migrant who shows his true colours when DJ goes to visit one of these hotels. Yeah! You know, you think you are big? I don't big, mate. You need to relax. Because the more you are here, the more you're going to be on the video. They, they, they try to kill me, and you are that, huh? No, I'm not. You want to film me and send for those? No, no, of course to kill not. Me? Well, well. Let's well, tell you something, right? Well, if you, you, if you don't want to be on the you, video. You film me to send Netherlands, they kill me. You do that. You, motherfucker. What? You. What do you say? So you you want to film me to send Netherlands, they kill me. You do that. You. What? Motherfucker. Motherfucker. You. You want to kill me? You're going to make a very long video of yourself now. Do that, do that. Because I'm going to make complaint. Yeah. To who? You are not my permission to, to, to share my space. I don't need it. Yeah, because I'm political. I have political problem here. I don't need and it. you make problem for me. Yeah, you're making a big problem right oh, now for oh, yourself. Oh, 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 You are a big man, bro. You are a big man. You huh? You don't need to film. I don't have to film here. I can. How? I can. How you can? How? I'm checking the security. Follow the rules, How? buddy. Well, yeah, what is the authority? Listen, my friend. Listen. Under which authority? I don't want to get into any trouble here. All right. Yeah. You, listen, you go back inside. We, we don't, we listen don't, to me. If, if, you stop walking towards him, mate. Okay. You, you are checking the security. I can. I can. I can. No, you can't. I can. No, you can't. If you don't want to be on camera, right now you're not on camera. You, you, you are talking like about the security. Yeah. Then please talk with me. Yeah. Okay. So make sure he goes back inside and we'll talk. We don't have a channel. You don't need to film here. I have a channel, mate. I'm doing a pinnacle inspection. What? Where we film the buildings, check the condition of the building, government buildings and stuff like that. Pinnock. What do you mean, Pinnock? It's a government inspection. 
We've just checked the condition of the building. We've been around the back already. The back's fine. No. So if I go out here, I'm okay, right? You're okay right now. Yeah, but I'll not in there. You're here. Meanwhile, <laughs> yeah. You can't even though the filming. Well, what it is? I make videos on all lots. Of it's so crazy go, that all these hotels are now completely out of action, and you're not allowed to go in. To, you not you can't book a room. You can't can't rent a room out, and we're paying for it. The taxpayer is paying for all these five-star hotels in some cases and spas for migrants to live in and i've got no problem with migrants being housed you know what i mean but why are they in all these fancy hotels and when this all started i remember there was people with bookings that lost their bookings because that they were housing these people and it's just crazy and thank god there are people like dj out there going out there and showing us what's actually happened out there because we'd we'd have no idea what was going on if it wasn't for these people? Stop that one, please. No. 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 no we can we, we can confiscate that. You're, you're the phone, whatever. No, you can't. Yeah. You can confiscate it. No, you, no, you bloody can't, mate. You ain't taking this camera anywhere. You <laughs> what? We can confiscate. Who the heck do you think you are? If you touch my phone, I will I will uh, protect myself. Okay. So we'll protect ourselves. Again. Yeah, you, you're not going to take the phone, mate. Believe me. So. <laughs> Believe me, you're not going to take the phone. So we I tried to tell you so. Just doing a video on the hotel. No, no, you can't. You can't. What's wrong? What's the problem? No, you can. Why? Well, it's not allowed here. Oh, okay. I'm looking for a uh, asylum seeker hotel. Is this the right one? You can. Please. Yeah, go on. But anyway, that is DJE Media. So make sure you go over there and follow DJE if you like this kind of content. If you want to see more of this. And he uploads uh, pretty much every day, very, very consistently. So make sure you go and follow him. And thanks for watching this video. And don't forget to stay chill.